Hello everyone, welcome to a new video of the Game Creator Basics series. Today we'll be looking at the Dialogue module. Before we get started, I'd like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. So we're starting with the same scene we've had in the first video. We're going to go to our package manager and we're going to import the Dialogue module. Now if you haven't downloaded it yet, you need to download it first. Then we go to the module manager and we install um, the dialog module. We are going to do the same for the examples. And then as you can see, we have three other options, which the other modules don't really have. And these are simply uh, skins for the dialog windows. And we'll have a look at those as well. There we go. So uh, that's it. Let's have a look at um, the dialogue example. And as you can see, we have a really small scene here. I'm just going to hit play. Um, immediately, we will see what it's about. And yeah, basically, we have a small dialogue. So we have an avatar um, title. So names, uh, text, and one of the interesting things obviously is going to be next is we have choices, we have timed choices as well. And then based on those choices, we can have something else happen. So really simple, but really cool. Um, one of the things I like about the dialogue module is that it's um, simple, but powerful. Uh, so let's head back to our default scene and we're going to go Game Creator, Other, and Dialog. And this is the Dialog component, and it basically houses everything you might need. So, uh, add new text. Um, there we go. And here everything comes into play. So we have our line of text, we can add some uh, options, uh, translation options, so title case, can pick whatever you want. We can add audio clips, um, which is literally just an audio clip. Um, we can add an actor, and if I press this, we will see these um, these little things, and I'll, I'll dive into that in a bit. And then after run, you can choose what happens. So continue, exit, or jump, and jump doesn't mean that the player jumps, it means jump to a different, uh, different line. We have actions, conditions and um, some settings uh, here as well. So basically here you can uh, change a couple of things. Now obviously that does mean that there are some default settings. So when we go to dialog, um, enable typewriter effects, characters per second, um, auto focus on the first choice. That's for if, uh, if you have time choices. And yeah, we have a couple of options, skip key. So all of the good stuff. So basically what you uh, would do, so hello, how are you? Then we'd have to assign this to an actor. So an actor, so we'll go create, game creator dialog actor. So uh, player, and we'll do another one, which is uh, NPC. So basically we'd have two different options. Now the name can be a constant or a variable. So if you have some character customization where players can pick their own name, you can just pick it from a variable. Um, we can also just do the constant. We can choose the color and um, here we can add a avatar sprite. So um, yeah, just adding something just for, uh, just for fun. And we'll call that player. Now you can have different ones here, so that's why you can have like um, you know a default one. Um, and uh, let's do and then it makes zero sense because they're not actually yeah. But, but yeah, basically you can have different ones per player. So um, you know, imagine neutral, surprised, angry, happy. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et you can have a bunch of different sprites. Um, if you've played Diablo or something like that, I'm sure you're familiar with um, 
how these sprites will work. And then we'd have the same, um, you know, for the NPC, um, we can add a sprite here as well. I'll add the different colored one. And there we go. Cool. So once we go back to our dialogue, the important thing here is that you basically assign an actor. Um, you know, we can have a transform as well. But yeah, basically it's... Uh, this is what we'd, uh, we choose. So cool, we, uh, we have that. So we have all of our, uh, all of our basics. Um, I think I named them both, both the same. So um, excited, let's do excited. Now if I go back, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we have both options, cool. So we can have just the default. Now we have autoplay options as well, which gives it an, a certain amount of time. Um, which I'll, uh, I'll leave off, but you can add that. Then basically we have uh, the follow-up line. And we'd assign a different actor. Now, as you can see, we have the option to select, um, to select player here. Oh, no, I don't think we added a name here. Default. And there we go. We have these options as well, no post process. Um, and then the exciting thing obviously is that we can have actions play. So with actions you can have gestures play or um, well basically anything happening in the scene all at once. Um, but most likely it would mostly be uh, gestures uh, that you'd play. So for example, we can uh, character gesture player and then we can have a clip um, I don't know, agree, <laughs> whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, way to complete. We can have conditions as well. And yeah, there we go. I mean, this is basically a follow-up. Then here we can have a choice. Um, so you'd basically have uh, choices. And this would be the player. Now, as you can see, we had actors and you can have even more than that, but um, they remember these actors, which is really nice. So we can just select the player. Um, then we'd have the different, um, you know, different one. And then we have um, our choices. Now for the choices, we need to add the choices here. So if you hover over, add a choice in a choice group. And then we add a, another choice. And another choice. Now, for example, with this one, if you choose this, we can have it exit the conversation. And, you know, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, and then after that we can have uh, again you know follow up um, follow up questions based on that and uh, let's add a, another one so this would then be um, the NPC And the NPC doesn't care, and this will just exit. And you know, we have another line here. And he also doesn't care, and we exit as well. And there we go. So, either way, we exit, we just have uh, something more happen. Now, if I put in a trigger, and I know there's not an actual NPC character here, but you know, it would just be a placement anyway. So, let's. Uh, Let's add one. There we go. We have the trigger, so we'll make that a bit bigger. Uh, player enter. And then we'll go to um, Dialog, 
we'll drag in our dialogue and we do wait to complete. And yeah, we have our options. I'm good, thanks, how are you? Um, and then if we do none of our business, it stops and you know, that's, uh, <laughs> that's it. And that was our dialogue. And yeah, you know, we can see uh, something we pressed before. It has a color as well. Uh, not that good. Uh, don't care. And it stops as well. Now, you can make it really interesting, um, obviously, by, um, you know, by selecting a couple of things. So um, if we select, for example, none of, uh, none of your business, um, what we could do, so I'll add a local variable. It's just an example, a local variable. Um, rude. So if we select uh, none of your business action, we drag in the dialog. We select root, so we're going to turn that on if we select that. And then um, we can add uh, another a line of dialogue here, so we'll have go away, and this would then uh, exit, and we can have a condition here of bool local variable. Um, we'll drag in the where's the dialogue? There we go. And we can add this and there we go. So what I, what I did here is I have two options. Um, both are um, NPC actors. And basically um, we have uh, two different options here. Um, they're both lines of the NPC and which one gets selected depends on if this bool root is selected or not. So if I go back now, um, I will keep this open. I'm going to go here, um, we have our conversation, now I select none of your business and the bool is set to true. Now if I go back to the NPC, he straight away says go away and it exits the conversation. So obviously I wouldn't recommend having the variables on the, on the same file, but this is an easy way to uh, to basically add, uh, you know, a more dynamic interaction in dialogues that is incredibly simple. So you could literally have this per dialogue file, um, as I did here, for example, and then based on, uh, you know, certain selections, um, we can have uh, these dialogues. Now, if you want the Mass Effect feel that based on, you know, your Paragon or Renegade status, um, you're making certain selections as well. You can basically do that with stats, for example. So or even without stats, with you know, with uh, variables, if you'd really want to, um, but with stats, you can basically just add a stat that would be, um, you know, your goodness rating or whatever it is, based on certain actions that rating goes up or lo uh, higher or lower, and then you simply add the condition. Um, so, you know, here, so none of your business, um, we'd only have that uh, available if our um, you know, a variable rating would be higher. So a number, for example, would be higher than 60% uh, for Renegade, for example, and then we can be rude. So really easy. It's actually really not that complicated to add uh, layers like that. Uh, definitely the easiest way would be to um, have that with the stats um, percentage. I think that's definitely the easiest approach. Um, but otherwise, you know, if you only want that to happen based on one um, one point in a conversation, you can do it with a, uh, a simple bool as well. And that's it for this video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.